Hello guys, welcome to the service now world and today we'll see part 8 of scenario based interview questions in service now. As you know, in this series, we are discussing about the real time questions or scenarios which are given by interview interviewer during the interview. So without any delay, let's see today's scenario. So today's scenario is like create an announcement automatically on service portal when P1 incident is, incident is created in the application development group. So the requirement is like something like uh, whenever we are created any critical incident and, uh, and the assignment group is application development group that time we have to create that time we want uh, announcement should be created automatically in the service portal so how we'll do that that we'll see today so without any delay let's go to the instance and try to implement it so now we are in our instance so firstly we'll open the service portal in one duplicate tab so i'm putting here the service portal like sp should be sp yes so currently we see like this announcement is coming right so what we'll do we'll disable this announcement so we'll go to the announcement and disable it So this one is right employee center is available to you so i'll disable it so if you know that requirement is that like when p1 incident is created that time we have to create an announcement automatically so we have to write a after business rule on incident table which will initialize the record in announcement table right so how we'll do that let's go to the business rule first so now we are in our business rule and just click on new yes so now the for the creating a new business tool, this form got opened. So I'll just check on advance because we have to write some uh, script as well. So we'll write the name. So name will be the create P1 announcement. And which table? So I'll select the table is incident. And I'm selecting here before uh, after and on insert and update. We have to specify the condition as well. So what will be the condition? So condition will be like when priority is critical means P1. And we have one more condition that uh, when the assignment group is application development group so firstly we'll check whether that uh, group we have or not if not then we'll create that group as well so I'll type here user admin and under the group just quickly test it Let's check it out yes so it's already there so no need to create it so i'm just selecting here assignment group is application development group yes so now we come to advanced tab and here we need to write a line of code for creating the announcement. So what we need to do, firstly we need to glide the 
uh, announcement table right so we'll just quickly check what is the name of announcement table so the name will be the announcement right so i'll just copy it from here yes after that we have to create for creating the record we need to call the initialize function so i'm just calling it then after that we need to set some fields so let's see what are the fields are required so if you click on new here in an announcement table so these are the mandatory fields like name so i'll just set it name name will be the what name will give as p1 announcement then after that we need to set the title as well so title so i'll just set the title so i'll just set the title so this title will display in the service portal so just give some meaningful title okay so i'm just writing here we having outage at this moment and what we need to do will will uh, for now we'll just uh, leave this from table what else we are left it out so we are left it out with the summary so we'll just give some more detail so i'll just set the summary so that's gr dot summary equal to in summary i will just want to set the short description of the incident so i'll just write current dot short underscore description then after that what we need to do we need to insert it right we need to call the insert function which will create a recording announcement table and i just want to store the this record sys id in one variable i'll tell you later why we need that so announcement underscore id equal to gr so in announcement id it will store the uh, sys id of the record which got uh, inserted right if you came here so uh, let's say if you open any existing announcement let's say this announcement we have opened right and if you see here like we have set all the name title and summary we haven't set the from field so just leave it for now if you required we'll set it later okay we have set this thing that's fine but if you come to the portal style we have to specify in which portal we want to show this announcement right so for that we need to create a entry in this table this portal table so if we firstly we need to see like what is the table of this portal table right so if we go to here configure and if we go to the table so this is the table name so let's see what is stored in this table let's see so if you see here uh, wait. let me open any one of the existing record so if you see here like here announcement and the portal mapping is stored like in this portal i have to show this announcement right so like that mapping is stored here so if you know here like in our business we till now we have just created the announcement only right but we have to create a mapping as well so in which table we need to create the mapping that is m2m announcement underscore portal table so what we'll do we'll again glide the at this time i'll write where mapping equal to new glide record
I just need to copy this table name. And here what we need to set. So firstly we need to set the announcement like which announcement you want to uh, show. So this is the field announcement. So in this announcement variable I'll just store the sys id of the the announcement record which I have recently created. So it will be like like this second second thing it's asking like in which portal you want to show so i want to show in this portal so there are suffixes sp so i think it will be a service portal we'll check it now so i just write mapping dot and let's see what is the backend now of this portal field so that is sp underscore portal sp underscore portal and here we have to pass the sys id of this service portal so we'll just search portals here and we having this one right sp just copy the sys id of this so this is the sp right so let's see whether that is active or not uh, let's see yes okay so i'll just for the time being i'm just copying the sys id of this service portal okay i just paste it here and that's it and we just write mapping dot insert so what will happen like their mapping got inserted in this table m2m announcement portal table and now we are ready and let's test it out whether that is working or not so i am coming into this tab and just searching incident just click on create new and we'll select our caller we'll select our caller here abraham lincoln and i'll just say like uh, right sql server is down in description i'll just put test and i'll just create i'll just upgrade their priority to p1 and I'll just put the assignment group is application development group because that is the criteria and I'll just save it up. So now, it, now our incident got created and let's check to the service portal. Yes, if you see here, it's showing, right? We have being outed at this moment and it's showing the uh, SQL server is down and that is the short description of our incident so let me summarize you once again what I have did it here like uh, I have created after insert business tool and what I have did like I have firstly call the uh, firstly I have glide the uh, an announcement table and then I have created a recorded announcement table and then we have to create their mapping of the announce, uh, announcement and their service portal like in which service portal we need to show the announcement that mapping we have created in the m2m announcement table so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt so i'll just put this code link with the, all the steps in my blog and that blog you will get in the uh, description of this video okay and if you still have any doubts please write in the comment box Till that time, thank you, God bless you all.